Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's a very exciting day because I'm just about to get in my car and head to Cerakote UK. And the reason that I'm going there is because my jump bike frame has been with these guys for the past few months and that is because they have very kindly custom painted it for me and I'm so excited to see the finished result. So let's get in my car, head to Cerakote and take a look. Right, we have just arrived at Cerico and I'm so excited to see my brand new custom painted jump bike frame. So I think we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's head inside, take a look around Cerico and reveal my brand new jump bike. Here it is, how amazing does my new custom jump bike frame look? I cannot thank the guys at Cerico enough. They absolutely smash it with this design. And when they asked me what I wanted, I said I wanted it to have a giraffe print and I wanted it to be pink and they absolutely killed it. It looks amazing. We also added a few personal touches as well. So I've got my name in this coffee cup because I absolutely love coffee. We've got OMG written on it as well and we've got a paw print because I absolutely love animals. Cerakote is a thin liquid film ceramic coating. It's very durable, scratch resistant and you don't have to worry about the paint stripping off when you give it a clean. All of these things were really important because the last thing I wanted for my custom paint job bike was for the paint to start flaking off. The guys at Cerico actually filmed a few clips of the process and I thought it would be really cool to share with you guys how you get from this to this. The first thing that happened to the bike was it needed to be degreased. Now it was actually too big to fit in these tanks so they had to use wipes and do it by hand. It was then put into the sandblasting machine where the old paint was sandblasted off and the sandblasting guns were used to blow off any of the dust and the dirt that was left on the frame. The bottom bracket was plugged so that the thread didn't get damaged in this process. I then chose the paint, I picked pink sherbet and pink champagne. That was then added to the spraying guns along with the catalyst to activate the paint. This machine was used to create the little icons that I had on the bike. So the little coffee cup with my name in it, as you can see here, that was then stuck on the frame. It was then hung into the spraying booth where the spraying commenced. Now this is so satisfying and this colour looked so lovely. It was then put into the oven to cure and then it was all finished. The thing that I love about Cerakote was there were so many colours to choose from. It actually made it an impossible task but I think the colours I chose look amazing. If I damage the bike as well it can easily be recoated without having to get a new bike. I think it's now time to take it to the garage and start building this awesome dream custom bike. The bike is now in the work stand and it is time to build this dream bike up and I really like the G Milner style dream builds and as this is a dream build I thought it would be really cool to do that style section to build this bike up so let's get started.
The bike is now fully built and I'm honestly so happy with it. You guys will get to see it properly in the next video because I'm going to do a bike check, a little breakdown of all the parts that I have on this bike and we're also going to take it for its first ever ride. So thank you so much to Sarah Coat for spraying this dream bike for me and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, put your comments down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place